Hello, welcome to the video. So this is Trimps and it runs in the browser. And yeah. <laughs> so here you have the storage units. <clears throat> here's the food, here's the metal and stuff like that, resources. Uh, you start with uh, a lot less buildings. So when you first start playing, you slowly unlock each new building at once, or rather one at a time. So while this may look overwhelming, uh, it's not when you're actually playing. So after a while you will get this mastery and that you get from um, not sure if it's killing bosses or uh, a special zone either way. I can't afford the next tier, the next one. Uh, and after a while you will unlock this thing. You can upgrade like this. This one gives you poison damage. See that green thing there, poisoned. And this one gives you extra helium and other resources. This one reduces the damage dealt by the enemy. So you take less damage. And actually, you do more damage as well. And this is the Spire. And it's kind of tower defense-ish, but uh, there is no active gameplay here. You simply set up the towers. Like this, you have a fire, frost, poison, lightning. Those are your damage dealers. And then you have strength tower, which boosts your... Uh, you know, this gameplay, and the same with the condenser and the knowledge. So strengths give you, my strength tower give me 240% attack. My condenser towers are currently granting a total of 80% additional helium from all sources. And my knowledge towers are currently granting a total of 120 additional fluffy XP. So who is fluffy? And um, where is Fluffy? This is Fluffy. And he gives me quite a lot of damage. And quite a few bonuses, like Helium from all sources is increased by 25%. And yeah, he has a bunch of bonuses. And a bunch of damage, and you can pet him. Pet, 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 pet. So if you look at my damage here, so this game is very spreadsheet. Uh, so if you're into that, then uh, you might like this game. And if you're old enough to have uh, defragmented a uh, computer back in the days, <laughs> you might enjoy this game. <laughs> Because it's pretty much that. And let's go back here. So Fluffy gives me 343 extra damage. So totally I have 1230 extra damage. And uh, let's see what else is here. Same with, uh, this is block, and this is my health. There are tons of ways to modify it. And uh, let's see here, heirlooms. So this gives you bonuses as well. So 458 dream health. For example, 500 dream attack, uh, fire trap damage, poison trap damage, 
miner efficiency, farmer efficiency, lumberjack efficiency. So you get equipment from uh, maps, usually. Right now I'm doing a map, but it's... Uh, and now I'm, not, now I'm not doing a map anymore. <laughs> so I'm actually using a script to play this game. Uh, because it gets pretty damn tedious after a while. So the script allows you to do more... You know, like you are the general back in HQ rather than the officer at the front line. So it's called Auto Trims. And uh, well, I highly recommend it. <laughs> it's not as bad as it used to be because the game has added in lots of automation. I played this when it first released, many, many years ago. Uh, but I lost that save. Uh, so now I replayed it. Uh, so there is Auto Gold, Auto Prestige, Auto Upgrade, Auto Equip, Auto Jobs, Auto Structure, Auto Storage, and so on. So those are built into the game. Uh, but auto trims have uh, even more stuff that allows you to customize it even uh, deeper. But once you start out, you don't need it, to be honest. Mm, let's see, what else is there to do? Oh, uh, actually, let's turn it off, pause it. Here are graphs if you're into that, so you can see how much you gain from each each run. So this is very data heavy. And these are the perks that you use for the helium that you get from your kill bosses. Uh, so yeah, looting gives you more loot. Carpenter gives you more housing space, so you can get more trims. Motivation makes them um, trims gather faster. Power gives you more attack, I think. Damage per level, yes. Toughness is HP. And they are also special ones like coordinated. Uh, reduced the uh, Amount of trims required by coordination by 2% of current amount, compounding. So that's compounding is the important part. So I don't know, maybe I should uh, start from scratch, not scratch, but uh, portal into a new daily. Let's see. So the game has tons of challenges you can do. And, uh, but you also have dailies. Now, dailies isn't really worth doing in early part. Well, they are, but uh, you should also focus on doing all of these maps. Also, you can only do seven dailies a week. Well, you can do how many of these you, as you want. But uh, Clearing zone 215 gives you, that's the max of the standard challenges. And I'm currently at 463. So that's why I'm doing dailies instead. Because dailies have no end. Wait, where am I? <laughs> Portal. There we go. So usually I just do the one that gives you the most. Unless it has a really annoying... Uh... So it's kind of like uh, you get random modifiers in the in the map, the dailies. So gain 63% less food, metal, wood and gems from all sources. Trims have 74% less attacks on odd numbered zones. So on even numbered zones you are 
pretty damn strong, but then you get really, really weak. So this one is pretty good. Equipment is 25% cheaper, enemy health increased by 200. Usually health is not an issue. Well, sometimes it is. <laughs> but let's do this one. Actually, let's finish the daily first. Yes, and now we can port it. That's um, much cleaner. And this is the Magmite, Magmite generator. It's this one, Dimension on Generator. You get uh, a lot of housing for this. Eventually, these, house, these houses will give you pretty much nothing compared to the Dimension on Generator. But let's portal out and uh, let's do it. So this is how the game plays when you're not using a script or any automation. And these golden ones are uh, from achievements here. So at certain milestones you get an extra golden upgrade. And these are all kinds of things you can do in the game. Like beat a certain reach a certain point in a certain time. Or just uh, cl clear zones or total portals. And yeah. Pretty much play the game and you will get them. Uh, so now you may be thinking this is a lot of clicking to do and uh, you would be right. That's why you have this. Let's unpause. And the lag spike, was it doing everything for me? Ah, now this is shrimps. Look how little I have to do. <laughs> So yeah, it makes the game a lot more idle. You don't have to babysit it as much. And uh, currently I'm in... Uh, and you saw it was kind of golden. That's because it was, you know, uh, speed running through the zones because they were so weak. It's to make the early game a lot faster when you are really far ahead, so you don't have to sit and wait through everything that you one shot with, uh, you know. You have it, trillions of HP and damage, and then you have like 100 HP. Kind of pointless to do that. So right now I'm building a lot of stuff, all the houses and stuff like that. Uh, but eventually I will uh, eventually I will unlock the dimensional generator and then it will uh, start ticking and then these buildings will be less important so I even have a limit on them if you check out buildings so I have max has 300 on all the all the houses have 300 except the wormholes, because they cost uh, helium to build. Never build uh, wormholes, to be honest. I think there might be some, some early game when it might be worth it, if it allows you to push a few extra few extra zones with them maybe so one building costs one helium so that's nothing make sure you can earn back what you spend so yeah and if you portal out now we will get uh, um, does it even say
Well, maybe not. Actually, we can think we can see it here. No. Where's the helium drop rate? Here it is. So yeah, we're getting a lot of helium. So one helium is nothing. We have um, ultimately a quadrillion of helium. But also they only give me 18 billion trims and we're already in trillions. And we will soon be beyond trillions. Mm, so yeah, I think that's kind of it. There is obviously lots and lots of things to do in this game. It's one of the oldest incremental slash idle games out there. It's not the oldest, but one of them. And has tons and tons of features. And it is completely free with no pay to win or ads in any way, which is uh, very nice. And the last update was not too long ago, so it's still uh, active in development. And there's also a Universe 2. I haven't reached it yet. I'm not sure if I ever will. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's kind of more of the same, kind of. But a bit different. Um, but you will have two universes to play around with then. So you will keep playing in this one. But also play in the other one. Um, so yeah, if I pass auto trims, let me go to a map and let's create a map, run a map. So you can see here is a lot of loot you can get. Oh, and it ended. Some have special loot, like this one. I think it doubles all your resources. Trimple of Doom. So let's see, you have 12, 12, 3, and 3.6. So yeah. It's a one-time thing, so you shouldn't waste it early, like I just did. But it's a pretty cool map. It's mainly used when... Mainly used when trying to get to certain achievements. Like... Uh, I'm not sure which one it is, but it's here somewhere. You have to beat them. Yeah, this one. Complete a bionic wonderland map. 200 levels higher than your zone number. So yeah, you have to be really, really strong for that. You have to be really overpowered at your zone. Which includes doubling your resources before you try it. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for Trimp. Like I said, look at its 
look at this graph, you can have a helium total. The power is pretty good. You can have uh, clear times. So some of these were uh, very slowly, like this one. There are stats for everything you can uh, think of. But you usually spend 99.9% .9 the time of the helium per hour. Because that's the one most useful one. So you can also have uh, Uh, actually, I'm just turn off. They look silly. They are a bit too flashy, but you can have a bit more graphic in the game if you want. I prefer to not have them because they flash too much when you're one-shotting everything like I am right now. Oops. And yeah, I think, uh, I'm not sure, did I beat the first Spyro or did I not? There are special maps, like, yeah, I think it's, I don't know if it's 100 or if it's 200 it starts, but Spires, you know, the these ones, you beat them, they are kind of like the, you know, real bosses in the game. And you gain a lot of resources, a lot of bonuses when you beat them. You should have unlocked some uh, feature in the game as well. And here are bones, you can... Mm, you can boost certain things. Bones is uh, the drop in the game by killing skeletons and mega skeletons. There are also special imps you can buy. So you may be thinking, oh, this sounds like pay to win, but I don't think you can even buy bones with money. So yeah, so you can have trimp damage, extra helium, trimp breed speed. The map loot is uh, usually not worth it. You can also make a free. Actually, no, that's kind of wasteful. <laughs> that's too excessive. And you use this nullifilium to upgrade uh, certain staffs. So we want to upgrade miner. Because miner is the metal is the most important resources. Because that's what your gear is, is using. Except the shield that uses wood. And food is for buying, uh, well, a few other things. Usually the people, the special worlds cost food. Most notably, um, the explorer, I can't even afford one. And the uh, geneticist. Yene, that boost your breathing speed. Actually, they increase your health and they slow down your breathing speed. 
So you have to have a, you have to have a balance between that. Yeah, but I think I would call it here. Dreams is a really good game that I highly recommend. Uh, so yeah, check it out. And this is the browser version, like I said. I think they had, or maybe have a congregate, or whatever it's called. I'm not sure if it's, that still exists, but I would recommend you use the browser version. Uh, yeah, I think you can probably just Google it. You know, Trims. Go to Reddit, maybe. Has a Reddit page as well. Uh, so yeah, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.